you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of abstract cc series and in today's video we are going to discuss how can we drill across or drill through and see the data of the majors where we have used use relationship with the correct numbers so let's take the use case the hr use case very common use case which we have done um, i have done videos uh, prior to this on that you can find that on my channel and blog and i'll also give you the links in the description now what happens let's understand this model what this model is and let's understand what is this current employee hired employee and terminated employees so when i have a model where i have these two tables one is employee table and in the employee table i have employee id name date on which the employee started and end date so this employee doesn't have end date it means from the beginning of january 2015 this employee is continuing with us and is still there but this employee started in February and ended in Ma uh, December 31st. It means in January 2016, this employee is not there. He is no more available with us. Uh, so he will not be an active employee when we come to January 2016. So he will not be counted in that. Before that, he will be counted from February till December. So this is the table. And to take the help of getting every month's data, of you know higher termination and all those we created a date table which is again uh, we've created for from 2015 to 2019 that's where we have our all the years uh, which we wanted to display for this one and let's look at the relationship between the two table so the relationship between the two table if i go here you can see date table is related with start date and end uh, uh, end date is also related with the date table which with an inactive relationship so this relationship is inactive it need to be activated whenever we want it to use now this is the model and to make the things work we need require three most important major current employee hired employee and terminated hired one is most easiest uh, one a simple count of employee id can do i have used a use relationship just to showcase that you can use it here because one of the reason we used it that what happens if someday we switch the relationship between the two tables active uh start date to active end date or no active relationship then also this should work uh so that's why we have used use relationship here but with the call uh, for higher uh, employees we don't need because it's already on the start date then we have the terminated employees almost similar code with little bit of difference the difference is uh we are using this not is blank end date what happens is power bi is going to show you the blank data in the terminated employee when you don't use this so it say okay the employees having blank terminated date when you join with the date date, date it is going to show you the eight employees or whatever number of employees we have it doesn't have a termination date into a blank one and we don't want to show that that's why we would put this filter and definitely we need use relationship to have uh, the majors uh, to you know work on the end date instead of working on the start date so that's the change or the shift of the date now when we need the current employees we actually need a between kind of a join means you have worked before the you have started working before the end date of this month and you continue to work after the end date of this month then you are active so that's what this is doing this is doing count x uh, filter employee employee start date is less than the max date and see either the employee doesn't have an end date means it's still working or the end date is greater than the max of end date so what is happen if it is a day it is day itself is max when it is month it's month end date so what you are saying employee start date is less than equal to month end date and the employee end date is either blank or greater than the end date of the month but this cannot work because there is an active relationship between start date and the date of the table that's why we need to use cross filter with none to make sure this relationship does not work and we don't have a kind join between the two tables so it will act like two tables doesn't have a join and we will be able to get active employees so this is how we got our current employee or active employees hired employee and terminated now i would like to create a drill through report and i say 
I'll call it let's say hired employee or let me only call it hired okay now here what I need is I need a visual where I'll put month here and I put hired employee hired employee is very simple uh, the reason being uh, there is a natural join also we have used user relationship here but the, in the other table which I'm creating what I'm going to do is I'm going to take name I'm going to take start date I'm going to take end date and I'm not taking a count knowingly here let's enable uh, this page for drill through so to do that let's scroll down a little bit and we can add drill through fields here and I'm going to drag there month here right now that's the only field I'm looking forward from drill through so I go to the trends and I look at any of these month wherever I have hired employees uh, I can do there let me sort it correctly first of all so these are the month where I have hired employees so I go to the June where I have two hired employees right click and drill through and I go to hired page now you can see I can see two employees here uh, definitely June 2015 is having the similar major so it's going to show those two uh, here but look at these employees look at their start date both are from June 2015 uh, so 15 June 2015 and 20th June now, now let plus press control and uh, the back button and let's go down a little bit we come to April 2017 drill through hired this time we don't see anything let's go back and check it out what's the problem April 2017 oh, April was not having March was having let's right click on the March drill through hired and we see two employees so it's working correctly we clicked on the wrong one it doesn't give data because there was no data now in the we see both employees from 2017 so this one is working now that's pretty simple for us now we want to replicate the same thing for terminated employees so I copy these two tables I don't want to copy the filters I create a new page terminated I paste these two visuals I get the complete data but and let's say in instead of this hired major or we take both hired and termination major here let's make it little bit bigger okay so we are able to see both things and now I go back to the um, I in the terminated uh, again let me go ahead and add the drill through month here so that I can see this into the drill through so I go here and I go April I don't see termination I see ter termination in October 2015 I right click there drill through terminated but when I come here look this is not having an end date of October it's showing me one terminated employee it's only showing me the hired one it's not showing me the terminated one why because the active relationship is with the hired date and because there is an active relationship with the hired date the table which is filtering right now because of the month year filter coming from the date table is only the hired date we need to change it and to change it we need something a major or a filter here which tells us that to the termination filter and that can be done right now only with terminated employee we have to add a major terminated employee and that's where it's going to show us and please remember if you added higher employee also it's going to work for both higher employee and terminated employee that's why only added a terminated employee here not the hired employee and that is why now I'm getting one record and look at that one record the end date is the terminated date which is from October 2015 so you need to have that major for which you are calling this drill down which is using the user relationship with the date so when I drill from here and you say I want to see terminated employee let's say for December I could drill down and I say drill through and I say terminated the so drill through page should contain terminated employee individuals where I want it to be driven by the new user relationship the major has to be present there and now you can see there is no hired employee in this month see hire is blank but 
we have terminated employee and one terminated employee termination date is in December and we are able to get it now. So the drill through page need to have those that major in those that table. Now let me copy this and let me create a uh, page which is current. Now how do I achieve current? Now we know how do we need to achieve now terminated I don't want terminated here. So what I major I need here and I also let's let's not have terminated employee here because we need the current employee and I also and I, mean, I can keep higher employee just for the reference purpose and let me add the current employee here okay now right now let's not go what data it is showing now we need to enable drill through so we go and enable month drill through on the month here here drill through we have enabled we go back to our trend report right click in this month i have eight current employees i right click on the june 2015 drill through current my table shows me eight current employee in the june 2015 i have eight current employee and these are the eight current employees and if you look at the dates all these employees have an end date after 2015 and have a start date before june 2015 so June 2015 before that they got hired see and after that they have a termination or they don't have any termination. So these are my active employees. So now you know when you are using use relationship how you are going to do drill through. What about drill across? Let's say this is the table. Let's copy this table on a new page. And let me employ let me remove all other things now i want a table here okay and let me just bring in name of the employees now when i click here on the name of the employee in this month i hired two employees so i'll see two employees so now you know what need to be done now create three versions of this table in one of them you can take higher employees hired employees one of them you take terminated employees and last one you take current employees now if you click on any of the month it will tell you the position this month no termination one hire who's got getting hired and what are the current employees next month four who are the four next month six next month eight who are the eight employees and we can make termination a little bit smaller and this one little bit bigger july again eight august no hire no termination september hire october one hire one termination November nothing in high termination again December one termination January one higher and two current employees so in this manner you will be able to see but remember here we are only using the one major the major which we wanted to see the names with there is no other major which is participating because the moment you add the other major it's going to be a combination of that so let's say if I go ahead and add here I have higher employees here also then it's a combination of higher and termination. So one of the action is happening is going to give that to me. Okay. So I'm only keeping that one particular major. So in this manner, you can get the correct data in case of user relationship. When you drill across means you want to see the data across when you click on any of the data or drill through when you are doing across the pages. So go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.